What's up YouTube, it's your boy Douglas Sam again and I'm just doing a quick video on my um, this power line adapter thingy network power line adapter I um, never knew much about it until um, you know one of my good boys uh, that works on my um, computers and stuff he finally suggested that uh, I get it. I used to work with uh, this little thing here, this Netgear uh, WNC E2001, I think that's what it's called, uh, the model number. Uh, and this was a good piece, not to talk too much about it, but I couldn't connect to my network with it. It fed my um, wired uh, um, router internet, and I got on the internet fine, but I could not connect with my network. So, like, you know, as far as doing apps and stuff like that with your phone and your tab and your pad and your iPhone, it couldn't communicate with it. And um, I think that kind of sucked. And uh, and after two months of trying um, to do it with the Netgear piece, I just gave up and just paid $100 on eBay, brand new, uh, for this uh, Linksys PLSK400. Um, they make another one. Well, it was different with the 400 model. You can't see it. They're hooked up. I'm sorry. I don't have it with me. But it, as you can see here, this has four inputs, um, four um, Ethernet uh, ports. Um, and this is where you would put near wherever you're hooking it up to. This is this one you put near um, by your router. So what it is, is it's very easy to hook up. I was just amazed. You don't need a computer uh, to configure it at all. It's truly plug and play. So what you do is you take, this is what you do. You take this one. This, this one only has one ethernet. And it comes with, where is it? it comes with two of these. But I only use one because I had one by my in, um, inter entertainment center. That's where I put it. Um, you take this. You're going to plug it into the wall uh, outlet, right? And then you're going to plug, plug the Ethernet cable to, to your router, any port in the back. I put the port to, and that's my lucky number with routers um, when I got to do something important. Um, so I put it in, but it, it doesn't say specifically. I read briefly the uh, manual or sheet of paper. Um, <laughs> And uh, it didn't say specific, it just said plug it into your router. And so plug it in, plug this in, uh, plug this into your router and then into that. That's part one. And part two is you're going to take this one with the four Ethernet um, inputs and you're going to plug that in near wherever you need, or well, in my case, my entertainment center. Um, center and and the reason why I got this and I know I'm just all over the place is because my router is upstairs in my bedroom and my inter entertainment center is downstairs two flights of steps in my living room so clearly there's nobody that's gonna run any wire and the, nobody's gonna pay anybody to drill in the walls and drop them in the ceiling and all nobody's gonna do that it's unrealistic and it would cost way it would cost over five hundred dollars probably to do that anyway but I will say, if you guys can just use your router, um, then that would be the best solution. But if you can't get your router, if you don't want your router in, in the specific place um, where you would use this item, then this is a great alternative. And again, it's only using your, your wall outlet and um, you just need two Cat5 cables, which it actually comes with. But... Um, and also I wanted to tell you guys too, you don't have to plug it into your wall because I plugged it into my wall and I was having issues actually. Um, actually one of the, you know, the outlet, it has two plugs. The first, the first plug I plugged in, it stopped working. I was like, uh, okay. So what I did is I put it into my power outlet where my, my strip, uh, you know, I think it's like a six plug outlet thingy, power strip. Um, with a surge protector. Um, I put it in that and it's been working fine for two days so far and I, I'll go with that <laughs> Shoot, it can mess up the uh, surge. I can't have any more plugs actually going out I don't know if it was it probably I was hoping it was faulty. I, I, I would I would hope it wasn't this um, Linksys uh, that did it now also to there's other power line adapters available. It's not only Linksys I have a Linksys adapt um, uh, Wireless router in my room. So I was like why not go with Linksys? 
but I think Netgear makes one. I think uh, there's a couple of other companies and some bootleg companies that make them. But um, if you can get one that's the same thing as your router, in, in our mind, it makes a difference. It probably doesn't. Maybe another. Maybe the Netgear would have worked better. But this runs at uh, 200 uh, megabytes per second, um, which is awesome. And um, and that's about it, man. So you just you just just plug and play, man. You just plug it in. And um, and they have these little reset buttons on them just in case it gets out of sync. Uh, you can sync it up again. But uh, once I got it going, it took about, I had to unplug it about twice. But once I got it going, it never messed up once. All right. So I'm just going to show you real quick on back of my entertainment center where it's at. And, and that's about it. But guys, go ahead, go on Amazon, go on eBay, wherever you get it. Go get you a power line adapter. It is plug and play. It is great for getting the internet into a, a, a place in your home or apartment where you don't have your router. It could be an attic, it could be a basement, it could be in your daggone shed outside. You can get fast internet in that weird area with no problem with a hundred bucks or maybe even less with another company alright right now I'm in back of my entertainment center this the uh, yeah the entertainment center piece um, and right there is the um, the second piece to the uh, to the 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 the, the, uh, the device and as you can see, I just got two things plugged in it right now. I got my receiver and I have my Samsung uh, Smart TV plugged into it. You see it beeping and it's, I mean, you see it blinking there, the third light. Um, that's, that's, that means it's rocking and rolling. So that's, try to give you somewhat visual. And my plug is down there, that's why you can't see it. It's, it's a pretty good, it's pretty, it's a pretty big box. Uh, each of these boxes, like the, it's like the size of a, it's like a CD, the size of a CD, but it's a square. So it's not, you know, it, it might take up your, your, your socket. You know, you, it might be a problem plugging, you know, like you have the uh, two plugs in the, in, the, in the socket. It might be a problem plugging in two things. It might, you might have to do it upside down. Like I did mine upside down, but it actually works easier that way. So I can easily just plug something in there right there. And uh, let me see if I can zoom. No, that's not going to work. But pretty much that's it, guys. Um, again, this is a great, great, great deal. Um, it's very easy to use. Go out and get yours. And um, hey, and that's it, man. Hey, hit like if you like it. Subscribe. I'll be reviewing some other electronics as I get them in. Um, and um, it's your boy, Douglas M. And I'll catch you on the next video.